it stands still long enough, Tiffany will likely spray paint it. She's back with some great quick and easy projects using paint from her own line. So I'm so proud of you. You've got oh. your own line with Cryline. I know you've been working with them for three years three now. Three years, yeah. Great yeah. relationship you have yeah. with them and, and beautiful products that you're just having some fun with. You know, you know? I, when we originally started working together, I think my, my intent was to show people that Everything can literally be spray painted. Everything. Yes, and Everything. I and I really do. And yes. there are a few things that can't, but for the most part, if the surface of it has been prepared properly, yes. it can be spray painted. Okay, well I like that idea. Uh, we are gonna start with a chair. So yes. This is how it looked like when you first found it. So it, this was an old rickety dehydrated wood chair, mm -hmm. but lots of great details, very dark. So I prime sprayed it, and I always recommend this, especially with a wood that has lots of detailing, uh -huh. because you can really get in the nooks and crannies with yes. the spray paint and then you have the base and then whatever color you choose will come up bright and beautiful. Let's see what color so, you chose. Of course I chose something a little electric. Ooh. <laughs> The original vintage upholstery. So I just yes. left the vintage upholstery on and thought, let's just do that. But nice. it's so much more current, and I kind of always feel like if you find that stuff at the side of the road, put it back on the road and see how quickly it gets scooped up. That's right. You know, uh, after it's been fixed up. Right. right. Because now it looks like something you would pay a lot of money for yeah. in a store. So super easy the process. We've Ten got minutes shots to draw. Doing it. It's so. I, I always tell people why I love spray painting is because I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> yeah. And I love the. Look at this. Okay. Just gorilla spraying. Beautiful. Put your mask on. On, put your gloves on, get outside, yeah. and take your time. Make sure that you do nice, even sprays. Stay a nice distance from be, from the product or whatever you're spraying because you want it to look even. You don't want things to drip. Yes. But I always love doing it because who doesn't love the magic of transformation? It's incredible, you know? and we never get sick of it. No. I mean, that's why viewers tune into CityLine. They totally. want to see before and afters, and they want to see yes. that they can actually do this themselves, and you can. You just need to do a little prep and get some spray paint. So the other thing I love is yes. we did this also. There's other products that you can use that are spray paint that are not widely known, and Carlin has a product called Sea Glass, and it's something that's transparent. So you Ooh. actually can spray glass. Okay, well, let's so, take a look at the before of this. So the so before. This is a, it's a just a regular glass little details that yeah. you can put in your bathroom or wherever in a little glass lamp. Yes. Just antique business. Wipe that business down, and then you've got your transparent sprays. Okay. And I love doing this because if you get one to three colors, you don't need to tape off. You don't need to do anything. <laughs> Literally, I just spray from like top here. to bottom with the transparents, Isn't and that it nice? created this. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. me do this you would have noticed I put zero effort it was just like <laughs> I could have been doing this looking around okay right? you know it, to get the gradient the product kind of does the work for you yes and it goes very quickly again it settles it's self-leveling so it just does its thing and it went very very fast and you have this gorgeous piece your friends are coming over for pizza party you have new lamps yes in 10 minutes that business is Perfect. dry put the shade on and call your friends call it a day yeah it's almost like you have to be that little hands-off about it and just make it free flow because totally. if you overthink it it's going to be like sharp lines that's not what you want you it's, want it to free flow yeah I like right? things to look artful yes and if you try too hard to make it so perfect you lose the artful lose looseness that's and that's right. I think part of my style can we talk about shoes for a moment well this is all I want to talk about Tracy okay let's talk about your good old pair of rubber boots okay I'm going to show you what it looked like when Tiffany saw her next spray paint subject so <laughs> these were just your just you know rubber boots yeah. black gross been through the mud business yes and I'm like I can't do this anymore <laughs> so I need I, them new I need them new and I want them to be kind of shiny so I, I again prime spray because it was Love a dark it. surface and then I always recommend that even if the product is light just prime spray it because you'll make sure that your colors come up true and so then you taped it. I taped off the bottoms just to see if maybe it'll give me like a white sole. Oh my god, I I'm love this. I'm about to reveal my janky tape abilities. Go do it. I'm don't judge me. I'm not judging at all but because you've got a beautiful it. white tip. Right? Look. Look at that. Oh, nice. Right? It's not perfect, but it's not 
not supposed to be perfect. It's art. But this is as perfect as it's going to get. Because you know what? Everyone is, is rocking the white sole now. Um, come on. This is beautiful. Super cute. And Super then cute. you're out in the mud. You're doing your gardening. And you're doing it in style. And something that no one has because you made it yourself. That's right. So it's paper. It's all the things. It's metal. It's glass. You spray paint it. You love it. Your life is colorful. It's better. Well,